two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. Why is he talking like the villain in a fucking indie horror game? This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping. To observe Boom. all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet. What did he in mean by this? Stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence. Okay. Thirsty for a distraction. Him, him showing his blown out asshole made us a product of influence, I guess, question mark? Time unspent, spoiling their minds, yet stimulating them at the same time. Hmm. It's brilliant. And it's dangerous. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. What if we... One What if we just, like... Another, Speed this up. Follows another, follows another. It's mesmerizing. It's spellbinding. All these little consumers, all of these lost and bored people, people consuming anything that they're told to consume. The filthy consumers. So I am the villain because I've made myself one. And you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year after year for as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain. I mean, I, I don't think it really matters if he tells people he's a villain. He was a fascinating specimen, regardless. Uh, it's like we have. As, that's just kind of like what people do online. If you're if you're a fascinating person for one reason or another, people are gonna people are gonna watch you. Now he sounds like a schizo tweaker. Maybe that's how he lost the weight. Because if this was two years, it was before it was Empic, right? So maybe he was just on meth. Stories that permeate and linger and infect the minds of the ants. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. You. Is that how Pippa made her ant army? Today I woke up from a very long dream. And I also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of my body. Yet just yesterday, people were calling me fat. If he lost 250 pounds, that means he was bigger than 350, right? I mean, I guess he could be one... I can't do math. Yeah, he's, he's definitely more than a hundred pounds. There's no way he's that tiny. The fact that there are multiple streams to which Pippa's ant stream applies. True. He was pushing 400? Jesus. And sick. And boring. And irrelevant. People. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I just he's he plays the psychopath very well. Like I is this an act? Probably not. It's enjoyable though. <laughs> Get to the point, Tyler Durden. The joke's on you. Oh Barb! Oh. Oh, Mr. Moodle, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. I like the zoom in on the bird. It's just like, oh, this bird seen some shit. <laughs> yeah. you, look like, you look like a big green ball. Yeah, you look like a big green avocado. Which is my favorite fruit ever. Yeah. Oh, you're a good bird. Oh, this is good. I knew you like that. You miss me so much. You miss me so much. I know. It was eight years. Separate. Or longer. What? Why was he away from his bird for eight years? I don't... <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, I know these birds can live for like fucking 60 years or some shit, but like, what? If you buy a fox and you put the fox in your house, it's going to do fox things. The man managed to lose two people in two years. That's crazy. It is. Honestly. Had to make sure he didn't accidentally eat it. What the fuck? <laughs> Hide the burb from the starfish. I know. How many years was it? How many years? Tell me. How many years were we separate for? Too many, yeah. <laughs> I know, my baby. I had no choice. I had no choice. But daddy's back. We're, we're back home. Should be do. We're home. Hello. We're back home. Should be do. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. Why did he have to be separate from his bird? I'm. I'm missing lore here. I feel like. 
Get what the hell with you. And it was a long eight years, wasn't it? It was a long eight years. And I didn't think that it would have gone this long, but it did. And it was like a bad dream that, yeah, it was like a really bad dream that we were waiting for it to be over. And it's symbolism. It was just a dream. It was just a dream, Mr. Noodle, wasn't it? Yeah. It feels like a bad dream. Um, I love the book. We woke up. Yeah. We're so excited. We woke up. Yay! We woke up from the bad dream. And um, I'm back. And Mr. Noodle is back. And Mr. Noodle? That's such a cute name for a bird! Fuck you, Mr. Noodle. I love Noodles. I also, uh... I also like the wild mood swing from, like, Joker-esque villain to just happy, clappy, gay again. As a, as a whiplash mood swing. Here we are. We're back home, Shibido. Say good morning, Mr. Noodle. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my studio. He's just, he's just, just wearing we boxers. We did this yesterday. We are redoing the video because my file got corrupted. I don't know how. And it had like an error mark on it when I was editing it. I'm like, oh my god. This is the universe telling me I'm doing more. Right? Right, Mr. Noodle? You are so cute. How's it going, Mr. Noodle? Did you miss me? Did you miss all the peasants? Hey, it's been like eight years. Are you gonna say hi? I might put little pieces oh, here and there for you guys to kind of see what we did yesterday, which was black bean noodles. But we're gonna do it again for a second time. These are my favorite spicy noodles of all time. If I had to choose one, it would be black bean noodles. Would it, Mr. Noodle? Um, I love them. They're so good. And these come from a Chinese Korean place, and they make them hand pulled and they stretch them out by hand. You can see them in the restaurant, like this. They're super chewy. They're very. I feel like this man who has stretched his anus on camera should probably not do that motion. I'm, j you know, just like, mm, you know, is he still mukbanging? Apparently, he j he just loves mukbanging. He can't stop. In very, very long. I actually think I cut them to make it easier for you to sort them. The spicy black noodles, they are. Oh, baby, I love you. I really missed you. I missed you a lot, Mr. Noodle. It was a long dream. As I said, that dream has come to an end. It was just a dream, thank God. It's all over. We were just dreaming. I just took off the fat suit. Yeah, I just took it off. Here I am. And um, I noticed yesterday when I ate it, it had a lot of onion, a lot of like vegetables and pork and potato. It was so good. And Bro's back again, on the really grind to 400. And, um, yeah, it's kind of crazy doing this again, but that's life. We just placed the order, so we'll pick it up and we're gonna have some black noodles, aren't we, Mr. Noodle? Yeah. Yeah, we should noodle. I think Mr. Noodle really likes being in here. Oh, the What's bird is noodle? eating the noodle! Uh, What's that? Oh, so you get a taste test before I do. This is like kind of not fair. <laughs> oh, Mr. Noodle. Oh, oh my god. Here, let me give you your mushroom. Look here. Let's try some of this. Is that safe for oh, the bird to eat spicy god. noodles? This is the life. This is the life. Oh my god. You're surprised god. the skin seems kind of okay after everything? I mean, you can kind of tell, like, on his neck. And on his forearms, and especially when you see his um, upper arm, you can you can see a bit of the the flabby skin. But you you can tell he's been working out, because otherwise the skin would be quite a bit worse. This looks incredible, <gasps> Mr. Noodle. <gasps> oh, I gotta have this. This is this it. This is worth my soul. This is worth everything in my soul. He seems to like it too. <gasps> this is why. Do people I'm actually like his content, or was that? Uh, just because he was fat and to make fun of him. I'm sure he had people who actually liked his content, but I feel like the majority of people who watched him, kind of like Dark Side Phil, were just like people who didn't like him and wanted to see how bad he could get. So, I mean, it's like... Literally no shade to this guy. It is crazy how much weight he lost. Life. I love spicy black bean noodles. And um, by the way, if you're new to my... Well, Mr. Noodle can't taste spice. They don't have the receptors for it, and actually, spice oh. pepper is really good for their immune system, so the vet people, they always recommend it. He's even teaching me things! So I'm just kind of mixing this around since I put those toppings on it, but it's incredible. Now, I'm also going to have to put a little bit on because this is about to get real wild. Ooh, you love your mushy peas. Mushy peas? Uh, cheers, everybody. Like the mushy pea cat sandwich? That was a spicy cat raid. We were all just dreaming. XAVT, thank you for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. We're watching a mad lad at the moment. S young is made to be healthy. You teach her how? I don't know what that means. He feeds the bird peas and sweet potato. Aw, what a sweet bird. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, this is so good. Mm. Should he really eat that much if he just did a whole two year weight loss journey? I I don't know it's anymore, spicy. man. I'm gonna focus on Is the camera focused on Mr. Noodle? I want you to like really see here. Put it here. Yeah. Put it there. Mr. Noodle. Oh. Here we go again. I told you they're very long. You have no idea Mr. how he can down that much food in one sitting. Really? Dude, if I start eating past capacity. 
Like, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. I have no idea how these mukbang people do it. I'm sure some of them probably purge when they're done eating. But, like, I couldn't imagine doing it for every fucking video, right? Like, that's just- that's crazy to me. If he knows how to burn 250 pounds in two years, he probably knows how to burn off that plate in, like, two days. You got a good point. He might- he might- he might somehow know exactly what he's doing, but it's, I don't know, that's crazy. And probably same training as competitive eaters. I mean, maybe. All calories in, calories out. That might be his meal for the whole day. Also- also fair. Also fair. Bar in front of you. You can, like, watch it. It's all open kitchen type of thing. Um, I think that's part of the appeal. See how long you are? I can't even. I can't even. I don't even know what to do with this one. How am I gonna eat? I'm just gonna like have to really slurp. Alright. Cheers. Wanna try some? Oh my god, that's so weird. Not my tough Mm. I'm not a mukbang content kind of person, mm. so like all I can think of is when people's like mouths do this thing when they're slurping stuff. It just makes me think of like the blowjob women, uh, and when when there were like edits making their lips gradually longer and longer until they look like anteaters. Just got here. What the fuck is he eating? Spicy noodles, apparently. No, you can't eat my chocolate. He would make tons of money by selling his diet plan. Oh, absolutely, fucking dude. Actually, let me put you back. Where's the salt? Be like, why, why inject yourself with Ozempic when you can get the Nikocado Avocado diet, man? <laughs> the rest of the video is just mukbang, really? Okay, I'm back. And we're just getting started, which is it is. What's really I guess we'll see what the end is, just in case he says anything else. Look how red my lips got, wow. Um, thanks for watching my Baki Noodle mukbang, and I hope you enjoyed your food if you ate with me, which you should have, because that's what mukbang is supposed to be. That's what it was originally for, and that's is what it? I'm trying to bring back to the internet. And I love being a mukbanger, I love food, I like eating food, and I like being here, so... Let me know what you think. I guess that's it. <laughs> what Bye. the I'll heck? see you on my other channel, I'm gonna link it. There's a... there's another video out. Don't miss it. I'm gonna... Man, this is weird. Was the fat Nikocado timeline a lie? He lost 250 pounds. In two years. Absolutely insane. Guaranteed to drop 250 in two years with the avocado diet. Dude, he'd make so much fucking money off of that. He played the long con in one. Yeah, it's fucking good for him, honestly. Absolutely good for him. Losing that much weight is insane. Spadey Cake, thank you for the 10. Ah, Kirsha saying purge reminded you of one specific psycho from Dead Rising 3. What the hell? Guy's a psycho, but not a dumb one. He plays a dumb one very well. His his kefabe pretty pretty immaculate. I don't know how much is uh, kefabe and how much is genuine retard, but you know. How will we make the jokes about Horizon Zero Dawn now? Unironically, we can't because now Nikocado Avocado actually looks better than the main character. In Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> what if you filmed them before he got fat? You can tell he has loose skin, so you can tell it's after weight loss. You can't help but find him super uninteresting. I mean, yeah, I've only consumed him through memes, so... You wonder if fat people felt enabled by him? We'll start cancelling him for losing weight like they did with Adele? I hope not, because that would be really dumb. Kind of looks like the basis from Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> Dude's got great kayfabe, his acting, uh, more like he did before he started mukbangs. I, just, I don't know, it's fascinating to me. Fascinating. Why are we hating on Alloy in here? Because she looks like Nikocado Avocado when he was at his heaviest. He looked better than the girl from Horizon even before he lost the weight. Oh my god. Congratulations on finally finding content that you are physically incapable of sitting through. Your stomach now feels like it's doing backflips and all you did was unmute for about four seconds at a time twice. Can we go back to the donkeys and teeth filing? Well, I even had his slorping on two times speed. What do you mean? <laughs>